Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wembley Wombleys who have made their way to Wembley Way to take on Manchester United, presumptive Premier League champions in the FA Cup Final. The FA Cup Final, our competition, as bald John Green said just before we uh, went into the tunnel. What he told, uh, I, didn't, I didn't give a, a talk. I felt like bald John Green uh, and other John Green could do it for me. They said that this is the last time that they're going to play in an FA Cup game uh, as a married couple. This is the last time uh, probably that they're going to play at Wembley as a, uh, as, a, as a married couple. The two of them... Um, who've been a strike partnership that's meant so much to this club um, and uh, and to all of us who care about it for the last uh, for the last oh Derek Milbor is our referee by the way um, for the last many years ever since they got in the TARDIS and decided to help Wimbledon um, uh, move up through the leagues it's been an amazing amazing journey and uh, there's only one way that we can end it and uh, that is with a win today still two vital games left in the Premier League season. There's still a Europa League final to play for, but as Ball John Green said it, uh, this is our competition. Uh, he also pointed out that um, there is a person um, uh, who plays uh, for uh, Manchester United who makes uh, more money per week than all of the Wimbley Wombleys combined, um, and that uh, that's, the kind of, uh, that's the kind of football they play and that's the kind of spirit that they have and that we've got a different spirit and a different way of playing football and um, that we're going to show the world that uh, you can have a club owned by its fans. You can have people who play uh, for the shirt, not just for money. Oh, hell's pals. Hell's pals. Oh, hell's pals. Right out of nothing in the fifth minute, there's a man who loves the John Greens and wanted to make sure that their dreams came true today. Oh, my God. What? It's a dream beginning for the Wimbley Wombleys. It's 1-0 in the FA Cup final in the fifth minute. 85 minutes to go. My dreams are coming true. Hopefully your dreams are coming true. Ball John Green and other John Green, their dreams are coming true. I just want to take a minute to pay... Um, uh, a little bit of respect to Hell's Pals. You know, it's been an interesting and difficult season for him with the emergence of uh, Correa, particularly um, since the January transfer window. What a grab. That's just John Green just running rampant on the ball to his husband. Nope. And then that's, that's a, that was a desperate shot. Um, desperate, but kind of beautiful from uh, diehard's John McClain. Um but I just, you know, Hells Pels is one of those guys who's like Callum Kennedy. He, um, he's pure, uh, he's pure Wimbledon, and he wants what's be what's best for the club. Um, and he he talked to me before the game uh, l last week, and he said, uh, you know, I know that I'm probably not going to figure into a lot of the um, the last two. Um, I know I'm probably not going to figure heavily into the last two Premier League games because we're fighting for the Champions League, and I know that I'm, you know a 66 skill level and not uh, maybe not Champions League kind of kind of material but I love this club and I want to help it in any way that I can and and if so, some of the some of the guys are tired um, going into the FA Cup final I, I hope I can have a chance off the bench and I told him that I'd give him the start and then he freaking scored it's an amazing thing uh, he's just you know those 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 guys Callum Kennedy Hells Pels there's a few others who just uh, genuinely um, genuinely care about Wimbledon. They understand what we're about as a club, and um, what and and they love the community of of supporters. And that just it makes a huge difference. I mean, you could see it right there. You know, that's that's a goal that uh, that's a goal that only somebody who really loves Wimbledon is going to score because it takes takes skill, but it also takes heart. So I just want to congratulate him on uh, what I know it's I know it hasn't been an easy season for him. Uh, you know, having to work so hard in training and not always getting the, the starts uh, that he wants to get because of guys like the Golden Child and Les Moore. And uh, we just got, we got a deep central midfield now. But, oh, man, didn't he just come through for us? There's Mose Vestergaard. Speaking of somebody who's had a tough year, um, he's been in the shadow of Frankenstein all year long. Uh, Frankenstein, of course, although he is not a monster, he does cast a uh, large and menacing shadow. Um, come on, boys. Come on. How about to your husband? How about into the goal? Oh, it's off the post! Oh, 
Oh, that hit like 62 posts. It hit the crossbar and the post. It was on the underside. I don't understand how that didn't go in. That was just beautiful from ball John Green. And now it, it seems like we're playing, we're toying with Manchester United a little. They may win the Premier League this year by like 25 points, but we have shown that uh, if there's one team that knows how to beat them. We beat them at Old Trafford earlier in the season in a vital, vital game for our top four chances. Still not at all clear. I mean, I think we're, we're still long shots. We're not in the top four now. We're long shots to get there, but we would have had no shot at all if we hadn't won that game at Old Trafford. So uh, we're showing that, uh, you know, Manchester United, you may be really good, but we're not, we're not half bad ourselves. We can play a little bit of soccer here and there. That's a pretty good ball. That was a weird uh, camera shift, but the, the pass was good. Um, so here we are in 42nd minute. Oh, man. We are just over one half of football away from our dreams coming true. That's a nice ball to ball John Green. Oh, ball John Green, he just he wants to score. You can tell. I, I wonder who it's going to be who retires. I do wonder if it's going to be ball John Green. Great steal. Oh, not a great shot. Not a great shot, Mose Vestergaard. And that's, you know, He's just struggled this season. But again, I mean, you know, all of these guys have worked so hard on the training ground, even whether they're playing or not. And uh, I'm so proud of them. Sermon, for instance, Sermon set up the, uh, set up the goal. He was the one who passed it to Hell's Pels. It was a really smart, clever little pass. And Sermon's hardly played at all this season. So, yeah. Oh, to your husband, to your husband, to your husband, to your husband. Find him! Find him! F oh, John Green's John Green's ball. Another John Green's. They're the best forwards that Wimbledon has ever seen. That may be the last time, guys. That may be the last time that they ever. Uh, uh, hold on. They, they ever score. Um, I think that might be my dentist. That's always it's always exciting when I get a phone call from my beloved oral surgeon. I'm going to listen to that during during halftime. You guys give a good talk. Hold on. Let me just make sure that this is... I just want to make sure that I still have a... Uh, oh, wait. He called but didn't leave a message. It's very mysterious. Maybe he's leaving me a long message. Or he's like, it's going to go away, I promise. I've got... I figured it out. Hold on. Let me listen here. Dr. Tancredi's office. That's him. Oh, geez. Oh, they want me to go now. I'm just going to call. I'll call. I'll call later. I'll just schedule it for Monday. It's fine. Um, oh, boy. Uh, all right. Sorry. Now I've got now I've got two things going on, an FA Cup final that's of tremendous importance to me and a dental appointment. You know, life is complicated. Um. Yeah. So let's see. There we go. There we go. Yes. 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 All right. Um. All right. Okay. Fifty minutes in. Um. Let's see what we can do here. Keep passing. Stay alive, stay smart. We got to remember that we're only one goal away uh, from it being tied, but we're also only one. Go oh no, just kidding! It's two nil. I forgot about that goal from Ball John Green. Meredith, we basically won this game. We are almost FA Cup champions. I can see it. I can. Oh, that was a great tackle. Don't call that a foul. Don't call that a foul. Um, just as I say, I can see it. Of course, United are going to go and s score something stupid. Um, but I can, I can see it. Uh, I, I mean, how great would that be? Because you know, this, this competition matters way. It matters. I almost, you know, that's the thing like ball, John green, another John green. The only thing, the only competition that they've played in every year that they've been Wimbly Womblies, um, with any success has been the FA cup because when we were in league two, of course, we weren't playing Arsenal and Manchester United to try to figure out who was going to get a spot in the champions league. We were like playing, uh, you know, Rotherham. Pass to your husband. Oh, it's a nice pass. Oh, God, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Give him a hug. 
Give him a hug. John Green to John Green, my favorite kind of goal. It's 3-0 to the Wimbley Womblies against Manchester United. John Green's John Green's ball. Another John Green's there. The best forwards that Wimbledon has ever seen. That's just beautiful. That, and, and, you know, other John Green could have scored there, and he passed the ball, John Green. I don't know if, the, what that mean, if that means maybe they've made a decision about what's going to happen in the offseason or not. I don't know, but, like, it was, that was beautiful to watch. Um, and I got to say, I mean, I support them 100% in their decision to take, you know, to, to have somebody full-time taking care of the kids. It's, it's a hard thing. It's a weird balance between your professional life and your personal life and wanting to make sure you're a good dad and take care of your family and stuff. But at the same time, like, yeah, um, you know, wanting to, uh, wanting to live a productive uh, professional life as well. And, and, uh, but, you know, I think it says a lot about these, these two men that they've had such glory on the field and they know what it's like to have 90,000 people sing their name. Um, and yet at the same time, they, one of them has decided to, uh, for the benefit of his family, um, to give up that, um, uh, you know, to give up the easy pleasure of having lots of people sing your name um, for the more complicated pleasure of having uh, one one child um, sing your name. You know, Henry has a song about me, the daddy song. The only word is daddy. And um, and I've also had my name sung at a, uh, at a football stadium. I'm very lucky in that respect. Uh, and I got to say that, uh, yeah, the only thing better than uh, having your name sung uh, by a club who you love is... Um, is uh, having your son sing your name so uh it's a it's a it's a good and heroic call uh by whichever john green chooses to retire and a good and heroic call by whichever john green chooses to uh stay in the game that he loves oh my god is it going to be a hat trick is it oh it isn't but it was still great it was still great the chance of a hat trick is still on and i mean how much would it mean how much would it mean to have three assists from uh john green and three goals from John Green in this game, um, you know, like to go out uh, of the FA Cup with a hat trick. It would mean everything to them, I know. Um, so we'll root for that. We'll try to make that happen. We're certainly not going to substitute them off, even though I'm sure they're getting a little tired. They're older gentlemen these days. But, uh, you know, they, they, need to, uh, they, need to, they need to see that if they can. So we'll try to, we'll try to leave them on for a hat trick. Uh, there's only five minutes left here. Manchester United playing, uh, you have to say, with a measure of courage, considering that they're, they're, they're definitely no longer in the game. Um, but uh, that's not a bad pass. Oh, it didn't work out, but still kind of beautiful. I like the idea of it. There was a kind of interesting geometry to the whole thing. Yeah, why don't you pass to your husband, see if you can make it. Oh, Manchester United. Oh, there it is. There it isn't. I hit A too many times. Oh, my gosh. We're two minutes away, Meredith. It's going to happen. They're not going to score three goals in added time. It's going to happen. Oh, boy. Our honest Mirabalis continues. Your Capital One Cup champions. And now your FA Cup champions. The Wimbley Womblies 2016-2017 FA Cup champions doing the domestic cup double. Our opponents squat in shame. Congratulations to the Wimbley Womblies. I'm so proud. Oh, this never would have been possible without Seb Brown, who's had 13 clean sheets this season. Martin DiMichelis, who despite his hideous ponytail, has played beautifully. Callum Kennedy, who's quietly played almost every game at left buck, left buck, left back, marauding up the left side of the field from jo diehards John McClain to Hell's Pels uh, to the Golden Child to Moe's Vestergaard, the patron saint of Lost Crosses, K. St. Luce, Dicko, Deany, Green Eggs and Sheringham, and of course, bald John Green and other John Green saluting you, the Wimbley Wombly fans, as a couple at the FA Cup for the last time. We love you, John Greens. We do. We love you, John Greens. We do. Is that a little narcissistic? Um, but you know what I mean. We did it. We won the FA Cup. We did it. We did it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this team. The blue and yellow confetti falls as we take the photograph that will live on in history. Seb Brown, get in there. We wouldn't even be here without those saves that you made against Luton Town. Oh, the indoor fireworks. We did it. 
We did it. We did it. And you know who the man of the match is? John Green. Thank you for watching. Congratulations to the Wimbly Womblies. Best wishes.